in the Orange County Great Park's relatively short history here on the former Marine Corps Air Station El Toro in Irvine, the main attraction is this massive orange helium balloon. Already more than 100,000 passengers have experienced a 360 degree view of Orange County and beyond perched 400 feet up above ground. Great Park Chairman Larry Agron explains how originally plans called for more than one balloon to be part of the park, but instead a single attraction was found to be a better fit. But as we looked into it, we began to understand that a tethered helium orange balloon could carry people aloft and could actually serve as an observation platform as the park was being built. And of course, it would be of enormous public benefit as an essential iconic element, a continuing iconic element of the great park. So now that we're launching our large scale development, actual production of the great park, to already have this balloon in place for a couple of years to have thousands and tens of thousands of people experience the Great Park Balloon and the view and the vision of the Great Park from the balloon is a tremendous asset, not just to people in Irvine, but to people throughout all of Orange County. The original balloon and the new one are both orange in keeping with the history of this land. Irvine's agricultural past includes fields of farmland that come into play here. Legacy project photographer Jacques Garnier gives us a glimpse into what once was. Well, Orange County um, <laughs> used to be full of orange groves. Uh, it, it's hard to believe now because there's hardly an orange grove left. And I'm sure this was part of tying it into that greater concept of what this county used to be. Where we're sitting right now used to be 100,000 acres of bean fields. I think the orange is it's, it's visible, it's visual, it's a bright color, it's enticing. Um, and I think all of those things were our hooks to get people to come and participate and be a part of what's going on here. Over the course of three days in early December 2009, the famous original balloon was taken down, deflated, and replaced with a brand new, brighter one. The older one had faded. The new one, officials say, has a special UV protection that should help the color last for years. Aside from the more vibrant hue, this one has a special nighttime feature. The former one didn't. The internal illumination itself is great because it's gonna be a, such a beacon for the park. Um, right now, our, the previous envelope, you couldn't really see it too well from the freeway. It was lit by the berm lights here, and after about 200 feet, the lighting would drop off, but this will be seen for miles. In order to get the new, nearly 2,000-pound tethered balloon back flying in the sky required patience and timing, that and Mother Nature's cooperation. We didn't do it yesterday um, because of the weather, and we're set to do it right now because of the weather. Um, the, the balloon is, is capable of lifting a total of 9,000 pounds. It'll take about, about four hours to uh, inflate it. So, you know, it'll be dark and so forth by the time it's finished. And so we want to make sure that we're going into the uh, proper window with the weather. A crew of nearly three dozen people and about 400 sandbags were used in order to bring the new balloon to life. Manpower and helium are the two main forces driving this operation. Aerofuel is the French company in charge of making sure this runs smoothly. Project of Operations, Eric Bachelier, explains how intense a task this can be. What I like to do is, you know, when I'm, I'm in, uh, in France, I have to prepare everything before I come. And I like to come and to see that everything is ready. This is what I like. And when the balloon is finished, when the balloon is inflated, it's like a victory. It's like a victory. The balloon looks like uh, something very simple. In fact, it's a bubble, like a bubble, like a, a, a balloon for, for the kids. But it's not like that. It's a... It's uh, high-tech. The envelope is built in uh, Germany. And the rest of the equipment is built in France by Aerofiel. Then it's shipped to Irvine. As Bachelier adds, there were a lot of things to oversee and much beyond his control that may have caused a balloon installation to be delayed. It's amazing to inflate. It's, no, really, it's amazing. In fact, to inflate, you need people. You need helium. You, sometimes you, you don't know when the helium is coming. Sometimes you don't know if you, you get the right number of people. Sometimes you don't know the weather. This is the most important thing. 
and sometimes you have to postpone. And to postpone, the client is not so happy sometimes. And to postpone the people too, to postpone the helium too. So I like to be on the right time. So this is why sometimes I'm, I get anxious and nervous. With so many variables that come into play, when it's a job well done, like it was in this case, it's cause for celebration. For the pilot, it's back to work as usual, taking excited passengers aloft, weather permitting, for a view that is, in a word, stunning. It's fascinating, because uh, any other job, you know, you deal with uh, different types of interaction, but by the time anyone shows up here, they're so excited to, to get on and you hear at least five people scream or squeal or with excitement and it's to see that joy is really amazing. As Agron adds, it's not only Irvine residents, but also people from nearby cities who turn out to take a ride aboard the balloon. They get to see for themselves what makes the Orange County Great Park such a special place. It's the only opportunity people have when you think about it to understand where we in Irvine are in relationship to the rest of the county, indeed to all of Southern California. The spectacular 360 degree view uh, gives you a view from our central point in Irvine, from this vantage point of the entire Orange County area, indeed up to Long Beach and even Los Angeles. That being the case, yes, you can see your own home. Yes, you can see your neighbor's home. Yes, you can see your friend's home, perhaps in Costa Mesa or Santa Ana, but yes, you can even see to downtown Los Angeles on a very, very clear day. You can see the open space that is available along the coast and the inland open space that is available to us, tens of thousands of acres. And you can see how the Great Park will actually be the missing link between the coastal open space resources and the inland open space resources. It's a great geography lesson. It's a great lesson in development, in economic development, and physical development of this area. And it's a great uh, introduction as well to the development of this great metropolitan area at which the Great Park is right at the center. Now with the new nighttime illumination, even more people are expected to be drawn to the balloon. So catch a free ride skyward. For more information, visit their website at ocgp.org.